DDOT, man. No one in the bag, bitch. <laughs> Here are some tips for when you're studying with your friends. Tip 1. Have everyone put their phones on the table facing down to avoid distractions and if anybody picks it up before finishing the session, they have to buy everyone ice cream as punishment. Tip 2. Never read individually. To save hours of time, have everyone read along at the same time by using the Speechify Chrome extension. It allows you to listen to any text in the world, including your essays and textbooks for free. This will help all of you stay focused and get better grades. Go to Speechify.com or get the iOS app for free. How I study anatomy. Watch videos on YouTube and look at diagrams. Write topics name and add all the information. Draw flashcards. I'm on a sugar crash. Dope shit like that, Jerem. Oh hi. Welcome back to kids. Um Follow your dreams. Wraps his arms around
skeletons out for the taking My study technique. Set a timer and add a task. Write the topic's name. Do some reading. Some examples. Chatty in a cafe with me. Notes. Grab a notebook. Find a fresh page. Play some music to help you work. Grab all your supplies. Try to have a color scheme. Mine's blue. Make your title. Then make your subtitle. Write below it in smaller lettering. Always in black. Then write what your bullet points were about. Copy your same scheme over so it looks similar. Try to write as good as possible. Go back and highlight what is important. Here is an example of a picture you can draw. Add anything else you want. Then you're done.
Instead of hot girl bedside table, how about hot girl study table? guys welcome back to another study with me i am reviewing for our midterms examination tomorrow morning over here we have my coffee pero ubus na siya so nilagay ko muna the new script na ine-edit ko because i want to focus on reviewing i have the periodic table here because i'm also practicing and solving some elements so these are my reviewers for the subject of physical science so ayan may mga about sa polar and non-polar molecules, chemical reactions, the formation of different elements. And the geometrical shape of molecules. So in here is the PowerPoint for the subject of Introduction to World of Religions. And dito rin yung notebook ko na nandun yung mga notes ko about sa subject na to. And I also printed out a reviewer from one of my closest friends. Instead of hot girl bedside table, how about hot girl study table? Hi guys, tonight I will show you how I take my notes. So this is the notebook that I am using for my subject of Introduction to the World of Religions. 
So I don't really put the full definitions of the words that I need to memorize, where instead, I just use keywords and key points to them. I apply different color combinations in order for my notes to be pleasing, especially when I'm actually reviewing them. If you're having a trouble in writing your notes during discussions, use a scratch paper and then just rewrite them as if you're actually reviewing them. Here are some color combinations that I will be sharing to you guys that I often use. Another tip is to use a ruler if you're actually highlighting a specific word. Just like in studying, always provide a timer when you're chatting down notes for you to be conscious about your time. Have a great night! Do I need it? Welcome. Am I under control? Can I beat it? Wake up! If it's swallowing me whole, would I see it? I can make you feel alive. I know, but do I need you to survive? <laughs> Just a sip. Does it still matter which one? Just a drip. Am I dumbfounded when I slip? I can't believe it. I can't believe you can't believe I can't believe this happened. Wow. French vanilla, I think I should sit this one out. Maybe a cup of self-control would do the right. The flavor is the fiery wine. Maybe so, but it feels better to check than to reflect. show you how to improve your PowerPoint presentations. So first, you always have to choose a theme. In having a theme, it attracts your audience's eyes and gives the entertainment that it should give. Next, use colors that coordinates with one another. Don't use too much loud colors. Pick the ones that are relaxing and the ones that are good for the eyes. Here is how we remove the background of a picture. Next, connect your team with your topic. Make sure that the theme of your presentation is connected to your topic as well. For example, here is a movie and a book review about the Coraline. That's why we use Netflix as a theme. And of course, choose designs that matches your presentation. Always apply your originality and simplicity towards the things that you will be putting. Have a great night! Hi, hello guys! For today's video, you're going to be attending a meeting with me. So my meeting for this afternoon is about the recruitment project for this summer. It is an organization that I'm a part of in our school. By the way, we're going to have another meeting for this around 8.30 p.m. And that is it for today's video. Bye! Hi 
guys! Welcome to Motivational Sundays. Mark Twain once said, To succeed in life, you need two things. Ignorance and confidence. Relax for the rest of the night as we resume to the real world tomorrow once again. Success doesn't find you. You have to go and get it. And get it because you want it. How to stay productive and finish all of your work. My first tip is to find a study buddy. Create a Zoom room and finish all of that work that you've been procrastinating. You can share your ideas and be productive together. My second tip is to use Speechify. It's an extension and an app that allows you to read and listen at the same time. It will improve your memory and allow you to multitask at the same time. Go to Speechify.com and try it for free. If this is your study aesthetic, here are some helpful items. Here is an item that you need to get if you're a student. I highly recommend that you get the Divine Mini Speaker. All you need to do is connect it to Bluetooth and it will play whatever song that you want it to play. What's really cool is that it comes with a bunch of games that you can play so you can take a quick break from your studying. Now you can listen to music and finish all of your homework. Hi guys, welcome back to another study with me but a more productive version. To start by opening our laptop and of course getting our water. Let's open our lamp and get our music. So I currently have 3 activities that are pending in my Google Classroom. Luckily, I got to finish 9 and 10 which is chapter 3 and 4 in our thesis in Filipino. Our piece for Literature 101 also got approved so I sent them to my groupmates but I reminded them to stay caressed for the Holy Week and prepare their energy for finals week next week. So I reached half of the piece and I think that is already enough for today and for tonight. So have a great rest everyone and enjoy the rest of the Holy Week. Focus on yourself and just have fun. Focus on yourself, relax and wind up. Good night! But sometimes it feel like this degree don't want me. Free apps that will definitely help you get straight A's. First, we have Brainly. It has answers to all of your homeworks and questions, and you can also answer other people's questions. Next, we have Speechify. It lets you listen to any textbooks, articles, and notes, and it's a great alternative to reading. It helps you stay focused and get better grades. You can use the free Google Chrome extension or the app link in my bio. 
trying out five below stationery. So I got these color fountain pens and they were only $5. All you have to do is unscrew and attach the cartilage, but for some reason it took me a very long time for the ink to come out. It was very easy to use but hard to assemble, so I'm giving it a 7 out of 10. Notebooks that you need to get if you're a student. First we have the Hamlin notebooks. It has really thick paper and it's just really easy to work with. You can also take a picture and you can scan your notes to keep it in one place. You can also get their index cards if you want to study that way. Second, we have the Kakoya Campus Binder. It serves as both a binder and a notebook, so it's very convenient. Here are some apps that you need to get if you're a student. First, we have Owaves. It allows you to add in activities and what you will do for different timestamps. It will definitely help you plan out your day and organize everything. Next, we have Continue. It allows you to type in your activities and add that to your calendar. And you can cross it out when you're done. Hi guys, welcome back to another study with me, Synchronous Edition. We had our meet this afternoon for our subject, Filipino. After class, I resumed into making video clips for our audiobook, which is our PT in English Literature. So I changed my phone case for the day. And syempre, naka-on cam tayo. After that, I checked my email to save the audio clips of my group mates. Just read some parts of our script, always think happy thoughts. Of course, we can finish the day without having a snack, so I had some waffles with Nutella. Kie, kidig na kinig ka girl. Have a great night! The <laughs> Today we're 
were going to make my project for the subject of physical science. So I printed the question out para hindi na sila hassle na isulat. And then I cut them with the paper cutter link on my bio. So I decided to put this project in my new journal because why not? Now for the color theme of this spread or this project, it's going to be green and yellow. By the way, I printed the questions on sticker paper para hindi na sila hassle lagyan ng glue. And enjoy the next seconds of me just writing and solving the problem. So the same lang ang ginawa ko sa other four items and here we go to decorating. So you can find the same stickers that I use for this project in the link on my bio. The button name is Stationaries Parenthesis Shop. So yeah, nilalagay ko na yung pages dun sa binder book ko. And we are finished. Have a great night!